and he will want to perform along with Robert Louis and Logan Tompkins. Well, we're nearly there, ready for kickoff. Both sets ready for this game, Bill. Paul Kingston Rovers have the confident knowledge that they won at Salford in the qualifiers back in August when this uh, section of the season was getting underway. That will give them a boost. But have Paul KR recovered from the disappointment of losing to Huddersfield last weekend? The players were on their knees at the end of that game after Danny Bruffs still go, in go, this part go. of uh, East Yorkshire disputed drop goals settled the game. Now they've got one more chance, and this is the last chance for these two sides for Super League survival. We're underway, Phil Bentham, the referee, tilts with the first, first touch of the move. ball for oh, Hull Kingston God. Rovers. Playing in front Second. of their own supporters, and will that weigh on them oh, the demands, God. the pressure? It's coping with that that is one of the key elements of this. You're right, Bill, it's how you cope move. with that pressure. The likes Get of Walker, who's playing the ball, three. tilts all good. The all mid over 110 metres carry in the ball. That's move. tilts his second Back carry up. in this opening Wait. set of six. Salford don't have a great record on this ground. They've lost on each Five. of their last three move. visits go. to uh, Hull Kingston Rovers. And their last in win front. here was Wait in July now. 2014. But history counts for nothing in this game. It's about the future. What is the future for these two sides? Super League or Championship? Salford in possession and on their own 40-meter line with Junior Sow. Expect a big game for him. He's been in good form in the qualifiers. Well, everyone just wants a decent touch here, whether you're going to be defending or carrying the ball forward. You don't want to make a defensive Move. mistake and a good strong carry Go. could play the ball from Griffin as well oh, here. And then Dobson puts a teasing kick in into the corner. It's a good one. Cocaine is corralled down there and then loops the ball in field to Mantellato. A good intensity Move. in defence from the Salford side. Their opening set. Looking to get good contact, good Two. control. Slow to play the ball down. When they touch the ball, Go no mistakes. Two. And it's who will crack first in these opening stages. Some experienced players out there. But for even for many of them, even for Jamie Peacock and all his experience of the game, this is something new. The million pound game. Cocaine colliding with Campesi, almost ricocheting off his captain. Had a mixed bag of a game against Huddersfield Terry Campese was intercepted but that's a, a good kick O'Brien is underneath it for the Red Devils he's a good player isn't he Gareth O'Brien the first kick from Terry Campese wasn't the best it was straight into the arms of O'Brien the second kick was a test there under pressure just focused on catching that ball and then the defensive efforts from Hulk yeah, they just timed that to perfection Junior Sow and there was a reception committee for him there Oh, and he felt that. And that's a contact impact injury as well. It's Tils, I think. It's a, a good shoulder contact, good hit from Tils. He hits him with everything, doesn't he? He opens himself up, Junior Sal, because he's going across the line. He makes himself an easy target because he's not moving forward. And Tilt spots that and hits him with everything. That is a blow in uh, every sense. For Salford, if Junior Sow's picked up a, a bad knock here. A yeah, rib injury, no doubt he'll be from Junior Sow. You can just see that he just tensed at the last stage when he saw him coming out of the corner of his eye. Knew that the big forward was hunting him down when he got out of dummy half. He wasn't going to just let him just skirt across the defensive line. He was going to put pressure on him. Well, Rovers know the danger that uh, Junior Sow poses. He got a hat-trick against them in April. And so they were obviously determined to make sure that he wasn't threatening today. Well, that left edge for Salford, they're big meter makers. Josh Griffin, Junior South, they get a lot of early carries. It looks like the big man's going to try and run it off. Carry on. Listen for the shout. Listen for the shout. Junior, wait for me now. Tackle three. Just gasping for breath a little bit, Junior South, as he gets to his feet, but he's okay to carry on. And there's plenty of more of that to. Come on, sure, in this game. Get square, go four. Here's Mark Flanagan. Five. Move. The great debut Hold. season. Goal. Missed only two games. 
this year for Salford and the kick, another good one. Touching, touch finding this time. Interesting kick that fell. I thought the first time they kicked it, Salford. They were looking to get the ball off the edge of the field. They've done likewise with that one. Trying to slow the game down, Salford. Play a little bit of territory. Twist and turn the pressure up, making the Robins come away from their own line. So uh, head and feed to Hulkingston Rovers, 10 metres from their own try line. And they'll have to work hard to get the ball up the other end of the field. Salford will ensure that. We'll get numbers in, try and slow this rook down. The man who was just behind the play of the ball then, Sean Lund, is exceptional from dummy half on a quick play of the ball. Thornley. Rovers trying to generate some pace early on in this game. Campesi, here's Adam Walker. Coach James Webster deciding to start with him today. All good coming off the bench for the Robins. Tils leaves Sir Logan Tompkins behind in his wake and takes the Rovers into Salford territory. And then Campesi, it's uh, Rovers' turn to put the kick in, not what Campesi was hoping for. Well, Campesi upset with that kick because he knew they had all the time in the world from a strong carry from Dan Tilts where he landed on his front. He got keen, a clean ball. Did Terry Campesi, but just too long. First, just trying to hold move. that ball up just before the try line. There is a lot of rugby league IQ in those halfbacks, but it's the, it's the EQ Two. side of the move. players and their personalities and their characteristics. Oh, What's their emotional intelligence like? Can it match the task ahead? Three. Junior no, South took that ball in. Well. Yeah, I tell you what, there's a problem with him, isn't there, Bill? And there's a problem with Salford who made the mistake from Wella Haraki, I think he was. And he gets up here. There's numbers all over. Both teams will be looking to get numbers in. Just make it a touch messy. And you can just see, well, you've seen them penalties been awarded to Salford, but it goes against them for the mistake. Ian Watson was... Uh reasonably calm figure before the game as calm as you can be when so much is at stake for your side but he and james webster were, were chatting amicably on the sidelines both in the same boat really so head and feed to hull kingston rovers and here is ian thornley after that error from salford josh jones with the tackle on thornley here is adam walker He's had a, a strong season as well. He's only missed one game, Walker. Big effort from him. Campesi half through there. Just got a hand on his collar, but he managed to get the pass away. Well, Teddy Campesi's loitering with intent. He's hiding himself behind the rook, and then he's choosing which side he runs. Here he goes right. Lunt, Campesi, Marsh, Marsh, stepping back in fields. And the Salford defenders scrambling to stop his progress Campesi again Donaldson driving it in straight towards those posts that's the fifth tackle Lunt short ball and good defense he's got it. It Walker he's got that down I think he has Adam Walker somehow stretched out there and gets the first try of the game Salford thought they'd stop the danger but Walker managed to snap out it off and plumb that ball down. And Adam Walker picked in the starting lineup today. He came off the bench last week, started today, and he started the scoreboard moving for Hull Kingston Rovers. Well, he's rewarded with the try. Walker, Willa Haraki makes the mistake. There could have been some interference there from a Hull KR player. But when Adam Walker gets this ball, again, look at Sean Look, He gets out and he pulls in a couple of defenders. And he just passes that ball right on cue, takes a couple of steps, looks at where the defenders are. Look at this, great effort. It's the movement around the ball, the lies that are being told by runners, running into holes, committing defenders. That's a committed run from Walker. Good grip on the ball, he gets the first tries and that will first try and that will settle the nerves. Bill, if you're critical of all that try. And I'm sure that Ian Watson will be. There was three men there. It was a straight carry, and you should have stopped Walker. We've seen some fantastic line running over the semi-finals of the last couple of days. 
That was right up there. Mantelato succeeds. That was shades of Liam Watts' try, wasn't it? Yeah, that's uncompromising, unconditional lines. Hull Kearden, 6-0 ahead. Make no mistake, there are some classy players with some big reputations that have taken a hammering throughout 2016. It, this first 10 minutes was all going to be about who handled the occasion, the pressure the best. And the scoreline tells you it's the home team. Long way to go yet, though. Just eight minutes on the clock. Walker with his first try in the qualifiers. And Till's Whoa. having a good start to this game. He's been a, he's been a good Great signing for Hulk but it just goes to show, doesn't it, Bill, that you make a mistake in your half, it gives that field position and the oh. ball to the opposition. You've got to make sure that you compete Move. with that next Two. set of six. Scottish Go. international uh, Adam Go. Walker stumbling Go. forward, looking for a penalty. Lunt looking three. lively. Move. He could be the difference up front for Hulk Air, Sean Lunt. Goal three. They've started strongly, have the Four. Robins. Here is Chris Move. Clarkson. Goal! Lunt, and now Camtasi. Good kick. O'Brien, good chase. Good chase. Dominic. Exceptional chase. Everybody Stand. was on Goal. cue. One. And one of the things that the Rovers have been talking about this Stand. week is, what can I do for my teammate? Stand. He's gone. Oh. He's gone, Junior Sauer. He's really struggling, isn't he? It was Morris Blood who comes over the top with that initial one from Dan Tilt. Goes short side, he doesn't want to go into the middle, but look at that. Wow, that's a test there. That's two big impacts in nine minutes of rugby. It's, it's a really significant injury, this, if Junior Sal's not able to continue, and it's looking increasingly unlikely that he is. There's not an obvious replacement. There's going to be, have to be some major reshuffle in that back line. Nine levels has played some centre. Josh Griffin going to centre. same at full-back. It's not ideal, though, as a coach. Certainly, in the opening exchanges of such a big game, you want your strike players like you Junior South fit healthy and causing damage, not walking from the field, as we see now, in an awful lot of pain. Smiley face on his wristband, but uh, not a lot to smile about for Salford and for their top try scorer. That is the significance. Junior South, 18 tries in this campaign and leaving the field in a lot of pain. Billy, he was exceptional last week as well against Batley. Just kept on chewing up those metres, made over 200. It's going to be a big, big loss. Marwan Kukash knows that by losing the Kiwi International, I can't see him making it and coming back in this game as well. well they might, with everything at stake, they might take him in the changing room, try and use some pain management, see if they can get him back out there. Well, Evolds is second to him on the try scoring chart, in fact. He's got 14. So it's not a bad replacement. No, it's not. But then what that does as well, by bringing Evolds on now, Gareth O'Brien won't go into the halves. Michael Dobson go in the five. hooking role. So that no. does interfere with the game plan oh, from Ian Watson. Go, there is Dobson drilling the kick down the middle of the field. And Kakane lets it run to Mantelato. Well, people talk about discipline First. in sport. It's not just when you're defending, giving away oh, high shots and making sure that you're very clean around the rope. It's discipline when you have the ball as well. And turning it over when you want to turn it over. We've seen it over the semis to get to the grand final. Teams kicking on the third, kicking on the fourth play, asking questions away from your own try line. Salford need to do that in this game. In the moment, it's Hull Kingston Rovers who are dominating proceedings. They lead by six points to nil. Adam Walker with that try, converted by Mantellato. That's the fifth tackle. and. The ball with Campesi gives it a bit of height. Wow. And O'Brien well positioned underneath Move. it, but Mantelato well goal. positioned to make the follow-up tackle. Wasn't it another test of though for Gareth O'Brien? He's definitely two. got his radar right Move. now for the, the opening two kicks for Port. Junior oh, Sal goes straight down the tunnel with the doctor to just have an examination, Surrender. see if they can get him back on the pitch. Stand. If you're a Salford player, the goal alert. Three. And the red light should be flashing when Campisi has that ball in his hand. Latter in the tackle count, get some pressure on him. Four, Significantly though, in. because of the yards Go, that the whole KR forwards are making, they've been they put an awful lot of effort in early doors. He's kicking off the front Five, foot. Move. It's being able to keep Salford defenders off him, which makes the kick that much better. Dobson Logan, with the kick, Cocaine underneath it, yes, facing his own try line and to handle that well ultimately by turning his body. He did well to reposition himself, didn't he, Bill? You could see that he was just losing it, so he spins round to his 
on trial line, so it's not a knock on. The physical with some of the caddies here, Paul Kaya. Rovers fans appealing for a high shot on Mantellato. It'd have to be a pretty high shot to get up there on Josh Mantellato. There's a lot of him. Yeah, there is. And that man makes it easy as well. He's opposite wing partner. On three, on three. I saw this last week, the offload game from some of the forwards when they go into collision, try and offload the ball to someone in a better position than themselves. Campesi, that is the penalty. Desperately trying to slow him down. Mark Flanagan and George Griffin. I said, Bill, you've got to make the play the ball slow, but you've got to make sure you don't give those penalties away towards the back end of the set. It's like making a mistake in your own half, so now you've just gifted the opposition a further six plays. First penalty of the game goes in favour of Hull Kingston Rovers, and here's Dane Tills. Made an impact already with that tackle. Campesi was miles away. Donaldson wasn't. Donaldson's still going. Well, he's just all heart, isn't he, Donaldson? A word to all situations. Opportunity now for Mantellato! Has Josh Mantellato got that one down? Phil Bentham is going to take a second opinion Come on this from video ref James Child. Tackle one. We've got try. This could Touch be a great finish, Brown, this. Please. Josh Mantellato, we've seen his athleticism in the Hull Kingston Rovers colours before. We might have seen another example of it here. Well, he wants to check the touch and the grounding. Don't think there's a problem with touch, despite the efforts of O'Brien. He gets the ball down, he's still in possession. Oh, Nothing's in touch, and the grounding's fine. This try should be confirmed. That left elbow's not in touch, Stuart. No, the ball was down before that. It's not an issue. Remember, the, uh, the corner post doesn't matter if he's in possession. And the ball's on the line at that point. He's in possession. He's well clear of the touchline. James Child, video ref. We've seen some tortuous, some difficult decisions. This is pretty straightforward. And Josh Mantellato has got the try and extended Hull Kingston Rovers' lead. It's all going the way of the Robins and their coach, James Webster, at the moment. Well, some lovely soft hands on this short side from Hull Kiar, who make the most of the numbers. Marlon Billet, Ian Watson. This job just got a little bit more difficult. The home side with the advantage up to press. Lovely execution from the I'm Robins ball. I'm liking it, lads, keep going. Six try for Mantellato in the qualifiers. Some worried faces in the Salford camp. He's a very valuable asset for Hulke out. Round three of the qualifiers. He scored 16 of the 28, 29 points rather. In that 29 to 12 win, he's deadly with the boot, isn't he? But he's given himself a tricky conversion. Way out wide. But Mantellato's in the mood. Ooh. Oh, and it just curled away. <laughs> I thought he had it, Bill. I was with you. He's been a good asset. Another one come from overseas. But look at this for the finish. Good short hands down the blind side. Josh Mantellato, six foot four. He finds a way of getting in at the corner. That's a tremendous finish from the big man. It's that little judder from Sean Lunt that just holds off the defenders. I think you're right, Tez. I think Sean Lunt. Has some crucial decisions to make when he's passing that ball. And so far, after 14 minutes, he's been bang on. Conditions pretty good here today. It's a bit damp. We've had some rain earlier on after a sunny start. There's not too much wind. There's plenty of pace, though, from Sean Lunt looking for some support. Kakane was desperately trying to get there, but nobody can reach Lunt in time. That could have been a penalty as well from Murdoch Marcella, and just all over him. Marsh, Marsh, Runford, Stobson. Well, Salford at the minute, they just can't cope with the speed from Hull no. no. They're too wide around the rope, that's why Sean oh. went through up the middle. Goal three. <coughs> Hull Kingston Rovers looking for more points, looking to really dominate this game early on. They are doing so, with Thornley just bumps aside Robert Lewin. Four. Well, no. struggling on the right edge Go. to contain Hull KR. Cocaine now. Here's Walker. Gets the pass away to Campesi. Campesi takes his time. Five. Move. Fifteen minutes. Go. Gone in this game. Campesi again. Chips the kick wide. Mantellato was trying to get up there. 
and uh, Greg Johnson did well. Well, there's a well, collision. The touch judges on here. Yeah. What an early is it? Well, yeah. he's claiming there's been a block on Mantellato there, but I, my first thought was that okay. they got there in time. Could be a harsh call, that. I think they got there and stood in front of him, but the penalty is being given. Well, you're okay to stand your ground, aren't you? The ball goes up in the air. As long as you get there and you stand there, as he does, I think he's entitled to do that. I don't think that's a penalty from Josh Jones, number 33. He's obviously a whirlwind -whir man, Slato, as he changes his line, and then all of a sudden he just stops. No, no, you've got to take it from Was he there. still moving into him, Stuart? You can walk it back. Uh, I would have said he's in position there. So that's okay. And he should have been. I, I don't think that's Stay a penalty. On the line, lads. But they've put themselves in this position, haven't they, with some weak defence in the middle, look far from organised oh. as a defensive unit. Here's Dane Tills. The pressure piling Whoa. up on the Salford Red Devils no. as if there wasn't enough pressure oh, already God, going what? into this game. Lunt, who has been really two. on fire early on, no. almost burrowing his way over there, Sean Lunt. Goal, two. Campesi. Walker. This time Salford are there to three. stop him. Couldn't no. make any progress. Goal line, Salford. The Hawkingston Rovers prop. Lunt. Campesi. Can Paisy for another try for Hawkinston Rovers, or is he held up? Yeah, he's got a one of Logan Tompkins, the Adam as well, Jump with numbers. Can Paisy backed himself, Leave steps off his left, accelerates through the gap. But Tackle good four, Terry, discipline here from Tompkins not to switch off, clamps hold of the ball, and Can Paisy can't ground it. Four. Salford back on their own try line again. Really taking a battering early on here. Five. They've Move. conceded Go. 10 points. They're in danger of conceding a few more here. The kick comes Go. in and they managed to deal with it. One. Well, they were looking at nine levels, was there, but you look at the stats Go. in the opening uh, 16 minutes of this game. Hulk, Salford, well, they've made Move. 98 tackles, missed 10. Go. Hull KR have been brilliant, they've not missed the tackle, they've not three. made a mistake, they're certainly three. well and truly up Hull for this game. Go, Some big shots going in there. And the Four. Robins Move. restricting Salford's progress. Salford just got to get to the end of this set. They've had all manner of pressure put on them, all different parts of the line. They need to complete the set, get a good kick downfield and try and regroup. Oh, that's manna from heaven. Totally agree with you, Bill. Exactly what they needed. They need some big, powerful players here. Josh Jones gets the penalty. Just a little tug from Josh Mantellato, the whole KR wing. You can see as Jones is getting up here, the little lift of the left boot. That's why the penalty is awarded. That's probably a perfect example of saying now these, you know, big, big players with big reputations underperforming. You know, that counts. That was crucial. That's put Hulk under under pressure. So is that forward pass. It looked forward, didn't it, Bill? I agree. Okay. But play continues, oh. and Salford hit back. Ben Murdoch Masilla with the try. Suspicion of the forward pass in the build-up. Officials were fine with that, and really with their first attempt on the Hulking to Rovers defence, Salford come up with the response. Ben Murdoch Masilla's fifth try in the qualifiers. Well, you talked about the forward pass in the build-up to the. The game, the referee, well, he thinks that it's okay. There you go from Logan Tompkins. It does look forward to Burgess. They could have been pulled up for that. This is the penalty. The penalties and the mistakes that you're making, you don't have. You can't afford to do that. One of the star players for Salford, Ben Murdoch Masilla, just look at the line that he picks. He gets on the outside shoulder. Or is it Dane Tilt or Campisi, sorry? And he's just too big, too strong. Hits a very, very strong, aggressive line. Good try. Matt Flanagan has his role to play there. Again, the lies right, that you tell with your body, with your actions, that little bit of deception, flooding forward, offering yourself. And there's some excitement, apprehension, and enthusiasm, not just in the ranks, but on the terraces as well. So Gareth O'Brien to cut the deficit after that try from Ben Murdoch Masilla. And O'Brien is wide with that set off, looking good. Just wobbled out of uh, sync there, but 10 4 the score. The man that Ben Murdoch Masilla runs through is Terry Campesi. Now he wasn't brought to the Robins 
for his defence. But you've got to question the ease with which he was isolated on that edge. Johnny. Wasn't an awful okay. lot going on. Yes, there was a good line from Flanagan, but with better communication, you would have hoped they would have dealt with that. Back row was always target halfbacks on the edge. One. As you say, John, they're not known for their defensive qualities. Goal. They're there because they want to create chances. But he's been he's, he's isolated far too easily. Too Two. much space. Stall is off to defend something that hadn't happened. Hold, and he's been given the devil's own job. That's a reminder for Hulkings to Rovers, who dominated Move. the uh, most of the first quarter, oh, but just that Salford have point scoring abilities and they're coming again with Josh Jones. They're trying to shepherd oh. him towards the sidelines. Oh. Yeah, good attacking shape as well. Then as well, Salford. Look, here we go. As soon as you go wide, then just someone come off the run. Move. Set Adam. that platform again. Go. Ball square. Play on. And then Dobson launches the kick up high. Kukane collects and deals Go with on. it. Coming up, of course, a big week here on Sky Sports Grand Final two. on Saturday, but Steve-O's grand finale oh. precedes that. Well, Friday evening, 6.40 on Sky Sports 1 and repeated at 10 on Sky Five. Sports 1, I should say, on Move. Friday. And Guess farewell where? to Steve-O after three. 26 years. There's a, a lot to look oh. back on. A lot Move. to look forward to. Warrington Wolves oh, against Wigan. Go Sky go Sports go. 1 next Saturday. Our coverage begins from 5 p.m. from Old Ta Trafford. Move. Move. Back up. Go. This is the million pound game. This is the game that decides who will join Warrington and Wigan and the others in Super League next season and who will be in the championship. At the moment Move, it's Chris. going Hull Kingston Guess Rovers' where? way, but 10 4. Narrow advantage. For the home side you know they're only little things bill but you've got to catch that ball Two. on the full when greg johnson allows that ball to bounce he puts himself under pressure off, there might be Two. a little bit more pressure with josh Thank jones yeah. in this tackle holding the back of his head a suspected crush the tackle here He's wrestled and then yeah you can see clarkson trapping his head down chin towards the chest it's a really painful injury it's where he has his right arm you can see what as he's trying to spin him over, it's not intentional. I agree. From yeah. Clarkson, he's, he's trying just to trying to spin him, him over. Back, yeah. He gets his arm locked underneath his armpit and spins him over. Okay. Normally, when you see lads do it, they put pressure on the top. They come over the top. Don't you agree, Stuart? Yeah, it's usually dropping onto the back and uh, forcing them down on it. That's that's okay. more of a wrestling technique, isn't it? But uh, I know a lot of people don't like in the game, and it, it can end up with a serious injury. Yep. So I'm sure the match the review panel has some interest in that tackle. I think at that point when you realise you've got the player in a vulnerable yeah. position, you've, you, you've got to make a decision Stop then as a ball. defender whether you're going to follow through with tackle it for those last, that, that, those last few inches tackle that caused two. the damage. And Phil Bentham has put that incident on reports. Josh Jones able to continue after that three. tackle. Move. They've oh, already goal. lost three. Junior Sow, remember, Salford with that rib problem. Having to cope without their top Four. try scorer. Wella Haraki wrestling himself to his feet to try and play the ball. It's static there. Kopchak is off the bench and into action. And he wasn't expecting that ball as well, Kopchak. Dobson hoists the kick on the last. Cocaine is underneath it. Well, it was a slow start for Salford, but they've certainly got into this game now. The next 10 minutes is going to be crucial for both of these sides. It really has whistled past this Go first two. half, or so far, anyway. Been very few stoppages. We've had the injuries, of course. Three, move, hold, goal three. Lunt, really lively, Sean Lunt. On three. And Hulkingston Rovers are profiting four. off the, the back move. of his back liveliness. Here's James Donaldson. Donaldson, pace in the middle of the field. Move. He's not frightened of anything, is he, James Donaldson? Mark Flanagan is struggling to get to his feet after that sequence. The kick comfortably dealt with by O'Brien. Well recovered. Hull KR, oh, 90 metre set. The outside backs getting in, generating some momentum. Hunt round the Hunt round the rook. And then Campesi once again kicking on the front foot makes his job an awful lot easier. Hold go. An anxious, nervy day here. Anxious and nervy for the players. Anxious and nervy. For the spectators not really the day you want to be sitting in the stand your due day when you're due to give birth to your second child but believe it or not that is the case 
for Cara Casey, who is sitting among the whole Kingston Rovers supporters in the newsstand. This is her due day for her second child. Well, it could it's certainly help, day. couldn't it, it with bringing the baby on? Well, do that. Sister of uh, Craig Franklin, the Robbins marketing uh, manager. <laughs> well, speaking of unwanted arrivals, I have it on good authority that Danny Brough is in the crowd today after his exploits last week with that drop goal. An interested spectator, Mr and Mrs Brough, come to enjoy the rugby league. Here we go, Jamie Peacock. I thought you said he was going to have a baby. Well, here's a penalty. Here's a penalty from Salford yet again. There's an injury in background as well. It's Clarkson who's struggling. He's been struggling for a couple of sets. Great jump. Head clash, so he's going to go off. He had a head out. clash late on last week, didn't it? Chris Clarkson struggling. We've already seen Junior Sal going off, and uh, we can get news of him from Angela on the sidelines. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Well, he's just come back onto the bench after being looked at in the changing rooms, Junior Sal. He had a couple of injuries. The first one there, as you can see, was in his sternum, and then the second one came into his ribs, so there's pain all the way across his chest. They're going to watch him this half, and hopefully he'll get him back on in the second half, but they're not making any change. Sorry, not making any decisions at this stage. This is it, lad. This is it. But let me Go. tell you, them sternum injuries, one of the worst you can get. They're horrific. First. You can't even get no. up and play the ball because so oh. much pressure you put on Go your chest on. when you're trying to get up. Makes it difficult to breathe as well with your chest expanding, but like I say, I think two. they'll explore Move some pain Jamie. management and see if they can oh. get him back out. Well... It's the the game is the must-win game and whatever it takes I'm sure will be the philosophy well no second chances but you can't even jab that earlier it doesn't work trust me I've had it done Olsi Krasnicki now for Salford progressing upfield and in a good position here now and Robert Louis oh, oh. big hit on Penn Murdoch Masilla but he manages to get the pass away somehow to Johnson Johnson keeps it alive Robert Louis he passed it into JP and then he's got the ball back, I yeah, think. Referees said that's the, the fifth tackle. Five. Goal. Dobson, little grubber kick comes in. They are all chasing it. Haraki among them and it dribbles its way over the dead ball line. Well, Haraki thinks he's impeded. He thinks that he's taken off by one of the whole car plays. Quick tap here from Ken Seo. He's been terrific Whoa. as well this the, year. The back no. five have been good this afternoon Goal. as well. Here's the kick. He's not got the ball, isn't he, by Mins? Well, he's still at Mins. He's still entitled Two. to go towards that ball, so it's, it's a pretty difficult uh, situation to judge. But I think the referee's got that right. Move. Good work from Aldred. Those cracks Goal. appearing again in the Salford defence. They've been worked over around this rook area, and it's loosening up now as we get into the last 15 Goal. minutes of the uh, the half. They've got Goal. Big JP on there as well. Jamie Peacock, more used to preparing for grand finals at this time of the year, Five. not for. A million pound game with the threat of relegation hanging over his club. Campesi, the kick again looking for Mantellato's height. Mantellato Still collects five. it. Donaldson, Thornley to Donaldson it was. Cocaine, Cocaine chips ahead. Jones will watch that one carefully. Too much on that kick then. But when that ball went up from Campesi targeting Greg Johnson, he didn't want anything to do with the contest in the earth uh, with Josh Mantellato. Don't think he had a choice, did it? There's about no, he lets him, between them. He lets him go up, lets him pat the ball back. He switches on to the next defend, next attacker. Sorry. There is Greg what? Johnson. Move. Try scorer against his Get former square. club Batley last week oh, in a, God, a confidence-boosting win for the Salford Red Devils against the Batley Move. Bulldogs, who finished second bottom in the go. qualifiers table. But as John Keir, their departing coach, said. That makes them the best part-timers in the country. Three. It was a dangerous game for Salford last week, in which they scored eight tries. They were disciplined with the ball. They built an awful lot of pressure. And they need to do the same here today. Kopjak took that ball at pace. Here is Robert Louis for Ben Murdoch, Masilla, Logan Tompkins now across the field. They go George Griffin to Dobson. Dobson onto Haraki. Griffin steps back in field, tackled about 20 metres out. Josh Griffin. O'Brien, under pressure, gets the kick in. Mantellato claims. And then the well, ball then. comes up for Robert Louis. Time off. And is Louis is claiming the try. Is it a loose carrier or is there a tug on the ball? There is a tug on, on the ball. On first, on first glance. He's got no try. 
Can you just check whether it's lost or whether it's pulled out? Well, there's definitely hands in from a from a Salford player, Stuart. Well, this this will tell us. Is there more than two in a tackle? Well, first of all, are they all on side? They're all on side. So what happens after Mantelato's catch? Certainly a clean catch. Do we get more than two in the tackle? Is it pulled forward? All questions that need to be asked of the video referee. Well, that ball's pulled out by and Robert Louis. And there's two in the tackle. Well, even if there isn't two in the tackle, it's been pulled forward. So we certainly know we've got no try. So we just need to decide if there's still if there's two in the tackle at the point of the, the ball comes loose. The other, the other thing I would uh, look at here is where his foot is. Is, is it actually a 20-metre restart because the, the ball's been diffused? There's definitely two in the tackle, so... There's also a question. Mantelato's is reaching to get himself back in, back in play because there's a danger he's going to get pulled back in goal. He's in play there at the time as he receives the ball, but he makes a definite reach with that left arm, with the, the ball-carrying arm, to promote it back in the field of play. At that point... You bring into question Mantelato and whether he was fully in control of the ball or whether there was a loose carry element. I think what they're looking at here is, uh, you know, where his foot is, because if it's on the, the goal line as he catches the ball, then it will be a, a 20 metre restart because he's diffused the bomb. What we do know is it's it's no try, so it's where the video referee sees where his foot is. It's the restart. Surely it's a penalty Stolen. close to the line, isn't it? Stolen. It's a penalty. Yeah, that's what they've given. It's difficult to see where, where his foot was on the line, but as we said before, it's definitely no try. There's two in the tackle, and the ball's stolen forward. Ian, yes, sir. Sighs a relief from the Hull Kingston Rovers supporters. Robert Louis thought he'd got oh, a second try for the Salford Red Devils, who trailed 10-4 yes. here. And interesting to kick to one of the probably the biggest men on the pitch in Josh Mantelato, close to the line. There's Jamie Peacock. Two and hold. Peacock hold two. should be behind a desk. Surrender. But decided that he needed to uh, help the cause in Four. more practical ways. Two. So laced up his boots again. Goal. Campesi. Graham Horn, who was recalled Five. to the 17 Move. today. Because of Greenwood's absence, that's not the best from Campesi, but he's looking to try and Campesi make something out five. of it. Gets he the ball away. It spills, and the referee says play on as one. Niall Evolds, I think it is, picks it up. Yeah, well, as soon as he kicked oh, that ball, then Billy go. straight away he's chasing it. He knew that it wasn't the best, it didn't get the distance. He comes down with it, and as soon as he gets it, he knows he has to Move. offload the ball. Move. It was a bit scrappy then. It was good go. kick pressure from Salford. It was a hurried kick away from Campesi. Yeah. 10-4. Well, Salford have managed to turn the table in terms of uh, territory, if not the scoreboard. And they're doing much better in that respect. In this uh, second quarter, here's Josh Jones. These attacking shapes from Salford, they look very pretty, but they're playing behind the advantage line. I don't think the, the, the front line runners are really committing defenders. OK, they seem to be reading this really well. Dobson has found a way through. Neat trick. Penalty. <laughs> and then gets the penalty. Maurice Blair just dragging on the shirt. Well, the show and go from Michael Dobson, and he has to regather that ball. I think wait, Gareth O'Brien's going to have a big back. influence in this game. Go back. As well, he's sweeping lines out the back. He's coming more and more into this game. The more they get closer to Hulk KR's line. Move! So Kopjak takes it in from the penalty. Dobson and Dobson trying to wrong foot. Two. But Sean Lunt makes the tackle for Cole Kingston two. Rovers. Logan Thompson's, Tompkins uh, pops the ball up. Three. Move. And again. Hold. Go on three. Here is Robert Louis. Louis, little step from the standoff. Four. Well, that's when he's good, Move. Robert Louis, when he's taking on a static defensive line. Hold. Goal, Tompkins goal. about five metres out. Ben Murdoch, Masilla looking for his second try. Plenty of strength held. from the second rower. Release, five. But he's held. Held goal, virtually five. on that try line. On the goal, last right, now. Goal, right. Dobson going for the power play. The ball out wide and they're in. And Everalds gets the try. And Salford hit back. 
They went for the power play, and Niall Evels, who's come onto the field because of Junior Sauer's injury, on the end of that sweeping Salford attack, and gets his third of the qualifiers, his 15th overall in this 2016 campaign. Well, Salford getting themselves back into this game, and the important players like Robert Lewis, Michael Dobson getting their hands on the ball, committing defenders and making good decisions. Takes it forward, Dobson. We've already said that Gareth O'Brien is a key indicator of where the ball, where the shapes, where the attack is going to be. Beautiful pass right across the face to nine level. The substitute who comes on and scores that try. That's the advantage of having a standoff playing at fullback, ball playing half back really in the fullback role. Evolds is the beneficiary. You look at the two fullbacks actually, Kane and Gareth O'Brien, two very contrasting styles. You've got the industry and the hard nosed Ben Kane at one end, and then you've just seen the very, very best from that man at the other. O'Brien missed with his first kicker goal this afternoon. He's got the win behind him coming from the uh, the east it's not as strong as he was last weekend when Huddersfield were at this ground but he's on target and Salford have come back from 10-0 down to 10 points apiece here as soon as he kicked that ball the whole car fans went quiet so he knew he got the ball over the sticks but Garofo Brian the game breaker that he is Garofo Right, he's one of those quality players, whether he's diffusing a high ball or going at the line, he's so brave. And wasn't it a tremendous pass? I think he's a bit, an air traffic controller at Manchester Airport. I'm getting a bit worried. He needs to take a chill pill, that lad. What at stake today. Passion's riding high all over the place. 2-0! Uh, Move! Go! Tom Minns down there, he's got a bang. Looks like a shoulder Three. problem. Go. And the Red Devils have got their tails up now and they're making progress quite comfortably up the field. Yeah, well, Griffin thought that was going to be a penalty. He's picked tilts out thinking he was offside. Josh Jones. Robert Louis and Louis gets the pass away and Greg Johnson. Johnson has got support inside from Ben Murdoch Masilla, but Kakane makes the tackle. Dobson kicks crossfield. Weller Haraki is Not underneath on, it. The it. ball bounces down in it's Ken Co who picks it up. One. Well, the decision to kick to that then, ball back, doesn't he? Oh, the God. decision to kick then probably born out of the fact that the fullback Ben Kikane at marker on the floor. Two. There should be some space Go. somewhere. Nerveless catch from Ken Co. Here he is again. Three. Picked up the Players' Player Award Move. at the KR End of oh. Season Awards Go. a little earlier this week and you can see why can't you on three still on three Mantellato try scorer already in this first half Four. move up to the halfway line tables turned here here is Mitch Allgood five move left side goal five and Campesi kicks downfield well. O'Brien off the knees then he picks it up Evels has come to collect the pass and looks to go on the outside. He's got support from Josh Griffin. Move! Well, he's the go-to man, isn't oh. he? On the last play, Campisi. That's when Salford could get off the line and put some pressure on him. Whether Two. you're the tight defender Move. either side of the play of the ball oh. or you're the oh, marker God, defender, God. that you need to get off the line and, and just test him a bit more. Salford supporters Move. feeling a lot happier about life yeah. now after Go. a shaky start to this game. They were caught early on by the Rovers' enthusiasm, but uh, they have come back strongly to level the scores. It's a good kick from O'Brien. Well, they've been shaking these qualifiers as well, haven't they? Build it up against the whole KR side. They haven't lost the game. Move, Josh. Get Salford, while well, they were beaten by London, they were beaten by Lee in the championship. Yeah, they, they had a disappointing Three, game two. against London and they really did look dispirited Three. after Move. that defeat by the Broncos and go, uh, go, took go. some picking up and they were they were better against Batley. They've got to be better still Four. today against Hull Kingston Move. Rovers. Left side, hold. 
Here is Jamie Peacock. Peacock, good yards Five. from the 38-year-old, 11-time Dream Team member, Sean Lunt. Mantellato screaming at him to put the kick in. Lunt fancies it himself, and that'll be the turnover. And he looks at over his shoulder and says, where were you? Screaming at his support runners. Some tremendous work there from the back five of Hulk Kearke. Your players are offside. See all Mins, Conley, Mentalato, all getting involved, doing some hard work. Ready. And it was an inspirational carry from Jamie Peacock. He had a point there, Sean, yeah. didn't he? You've all got to be on the same page as him. As soon as one of your teammates gets a quick play of the ball, any good hooker is going to go oh, from dummy half. He was after Josh Mantellato cutting inside. He just hugged his wing. Two, you don't do that. You've move. got to cut inside when you're running go. out of space. Drop back under. So Hulk, back. Kingston Rovers, having led 10-0, find themselves back four. on level terms Move. into the last four Go. minutes He's of in. the first 40 four. here at the Lightstream Stadium. The Five. winners, remember, Move. survive in Go. Super League. For the losers, oh, it's a season at the least of championship football, and who knows what the other consequences might be. Of course, lots of talking. Salford circles about what the owners intentions might be in that respect so talk about pressure well the players can only affect what what goes on that man James Webster all during the week he would have told his players how he wants them to play the, clock, the same as Ian Watson the head coach of Salford but it's down to the players now with just four yeah, minutes boy. to go before half time the team talk from the coaches and then they've got to come out and do it all over again. It's such a different emotion. We've seen two amazing games. Marwan Kukash looking on. We've seen two amazing games on Thursday night where the four teams playing have everything to gain. Well, this afternoon's match is about what you'll lose if you get it wrong. First move. Go. Ten points apiece. Two. Move. Nothing to choose between oh, these two sides two. in previous meetings this season. Three. And this was a difficult Move. game to call before Go. a ball was kicked. And it's proving Four. that way. The sides Move. level Go. as we head for half time. Sean Lunt has been doing his best to split them and gets the pass away to Sio. And Sio puts his foot to the floor. And Cocaine is through, but back comes Five. Griffin to make a great tackle. The Ravens, Ravens rolling forward, they get the penalty. Well, a little nudge there. That's Hulk Kayada at the best. And Sean Lunt is the key to everything that Hulk Kayada are doing in this game. Anticipating that quick play of the ball, as soon as he gets that quick play of the ball, he's got his teammate, Ken Seo, who's coming after him. You go for two points here. Yeah, go for two. He needs players at the side of him, Sean Lunt. Recognise when he's going to go. If the markers aren't quite ready, He's on his bike, that's a fabulous offload. Co does likewise, a bank of cane were it not for a desperate Salford defender. You want, to, you want to quantify that run from Sean Lunt, how important he's become to this game. It'll mean instead of going in deadlocked, Hull K.R. are likely going with a two-point lead and how that affects you mentally going into the second 40 minutes. His influence on the game is growing by the minute. Mantellato then, here's the run from Lunt, he has had a cracking first half, Sean Lunt. Yeah, leaders lead by example, don't they, and Ken Sio getting himself around where the action is. And Josh Mantellato just take his time here now. Successful with one goal kick so far, and that was close to the posts. This one more difficult, but on target. And as half-time approaches, Hulk Eastern Rovers nudge their way back in front. It could be that close. Lord Prescott's up in the stands, something for Rovers to smile about. It's a, it's a, a nervous smile. Nobody can breathe easy this afternoon. Stifling tension around the ground, as you can see from the uh, Rovers coach, James Webster. Of course, Tim Sheens due to take oh, over sorry, next man. season was with Salford has stepped down for this conclusion to the season to spare the two clubs and presumably watching on first move. 
wondering how it's going to pan out. I wonder oh, if he was giving any tips to James Webster August. and Jamie Peacock and how to play the Salford side. Two, move. You wanted to go into this game not knowing who was going to win, or didn't you? And the second half, I'm sure, is going to be tremendous. Maurice Blair, popular figure here, the player of the year for Hull Kingston Rovers. Not surprising, really. Massive influence on the side. A lot of the time and when they've been uh, up against it I wonder if Campesi was thinking of one point there but instead he finds uh, a good touch just run the clock down <laughs> the last action of that first 40 and uh, James Webster will head downstairs pretty satisfied with that first 40 okay 10-0 lead was turned round to 10 all and Ian Watson has a lot to work on there as well so the two sides will be Pretty pleased with the way this first 40 minutes has, has shaped up. Finale to the qualifiers here with a million pound game at half time. Yeah, it's evenly poised. Yeah, Hulkingston Rovers just Lost. ahead by 12 points to 10. Dead. Who will come out on top in this and be in Super League next season? Really difficult to call. Who will hold their nerve? That air of tension just cranking up even further as the game progresses. Second Onside. half about to get underway. And Mantellato, who's a penalty just before half time, separates these two sides, gets us underway. Bill, and if you've got some big game experience, like First a few players have on move. both sides, this is where you oh, step up. Goal. This is where you take the game by the scruff of the neck. You calm it down. You come two. up with a big play, move. a big run. Sean, you're get you make sure you lead by here. example to some of the younger players within the side that might just be a bit nervous. Third movement. Here is Wella Haraki, Hold. one of those experienced players. Oh, three, Sean, the on his fourth uh, Super League club, Haraki, Josh Griffin, who will be in Hull next season Held! as a Hull FC Move, player goal, four, dive, four, Logan Sean, Tompkins sad to see brother five, Sam on crutches five, uh, last five. night at the DW Stadium goal, and out for the remainder of the season Dobson hoists that kick but it's uh, comfortable for Kakane easy for Ben Kakane got a bit of spin on that kick as well did Dobson but Ben Kakane not taking his time gets it back to centre field Move. takes a quick tap there's another goal. man with some speed can see your two good work from Krasnicki. A couple of snappy Holds. tackles from Go. the uh, former London Bronco Mantellato. Well, you know, three. when a winger goes in Move. behind dummy half, he's gonna Back scoot, up, so the markers Go can get out three. and split and work. Here is Chris Clarkson, Hold. Rovers keeping it simple. Release four, Hold. Sean Lunt, big influence on their Go effort four, in the yeah, first half. Right. Can he continue that? Campesi. Kakane now, Kakane. Whoa, good Thornley is stopped in his tracks. Five, good to tackle from Josh goal. Jones. Campesi, he really hasn't got his kicking boots on today. That one again stays in the middle of the field, and then uh, Josh Griffin fields it. One. He's come up with some good back. kicks, Teddy Campesi, but he's come up with some shockers as well. Would have wanted a bit more distance on that. Greg Johnson, Move. another man with an awful lot Two. of pace. Hold. And he's the player Goal that two. you do look to. You do look to him to inspire you. Threw an interception Move. last week against Here Ryan Bradley, which I'm sure three. he would have been disappointed with. Four. Chris Clarkson and Move. Logan Tompkins wrestling with each Hold. other. Tompkins Goal. hoping maybe that a uh, penalty might come his way. Here's Ben Murdoch Masilla. He takes some stopping great offload. Five. And found to Jones on his shoulder. That's the fifth tackle. Jones. Looking for a penalty likewise, Every it's with Robert Louis. Louis on to Dobson, and Dobson will chip back across the grain. Kick is hoisted nicely. It's going to come play down on. for Marsh no, and play on, says referee Phil Bentham. Well, they were looking to get away with that then. Matty Moves. Marsh in the perfect position. Oh, ben Kakane misses that ball. There's a casualty in back play as well. Kakane has come out. Two. Really Move. struggling following that back tackle. Up, Goal two. Was it the collision with Wella Haraki? Three. Because he yep. jumps up for this ball, well oh, Iraq, he's underneath God, him, and you can see the anguish in his face. 
Well, it's with Graham four. Horn. Kakane Move. is still on the deck. Get square. Go for. Just a few metres away from his own try line. Play continues with uh, Maurice Blair and Blair. So difficult to stop. Gets a pass away to Marsh. Marsh is isolated, but still manages to make ground. Five. And then Ben Murdoch Masilla makes the tackle. Hold. Go. Blair. Campesi. Here is Lunt. Lunt, little dummy, cuts back in field. Ducks under. Sean Lunt gets the pass oh. away. <laughs> Big hit. Murdoch the power Silla. play. <laughs> Telegraph to all good that was. Time off. You have to admire the courage and bravery it's of all these players now. flinging themselves into these challenges. Good meters being made by both sides. Strong carries, intensity Tackle on the ball. Maurice Blair, right in the tackles, gets an offload away to the impressive Matty Marsh. Brilliant stuff. Well, Murdoch Masilla made that tackle there. Saves the try, maybe, and then he comes up with a, a huge hit. On the right edge on the last plate, and he's struggling. The it's big worked. man, I think he's it's going to be Morgan taken is. off the pitch. That's it. Speaking about struggling, Ben Kakern, he's been down for that full set of six since colliding <laughs> with Wella Haraki. Bodies all over Stop. the place. Murdoch masilla has gone down at the other end of the field. There you go. That's a fair contest. That's fine. I'm not so sure where he gets I, injured. I though. think it's when he's jumping. I think yeah. it's his knee when he's actually that? taking off Ben Kakern. Yeah, because it wasn't through collision, was it? There's, definitely, his knee there's definitely a, a test being done by the physio there, Game and it screen. is a test on the, the stability of the knee. Yeah. And as a fullback, one of nice. the most aerobically demanding <laughs> positions as we pre watched that oh, great no. shot from Murdoch Masilla. Fullback being one of the most aerobically demanding That's positions, awesome. you need to have the full use of your pins. That is a blow for uh, the Salford Red Devils. Murdoch Masilla has got to try. Is that a groin problem? And Junior Sal as well. Yeah. So two of the forward, two of the star forward. men, two of the men that could really break down uh, the opposition, yeah. whether be brute force with one of them or whether the other one with a bit of speed and a, a bit of magic. Well, Benka Kent, well, he was trying to take his place on the pitch, but all of a sudden, the whole car bench have yeah. said, no, come off, let's have a little look what's wrong with you. We'll assess you and see if you can go back on. But two big blows for Salford. Really admire Ben Kakane, you know. Right? Very easy to criticise sometimes. I've been guilty of it in the past as well. He hasn't got the silky hands, the First. distribution skills of a, a Gareth O'Brien, for example. Hold. But he's an uncompromising, aggressive, and totally committed player. Two, move, Sean! Gencio has back. dropped back for the uh, full-back duties. Hold. So a busy day for physios, move. virtually Three, from the word hold. go, with that junior sow injury, and now Murdoch Masilla is off. And Evels is off, Evels is off, he's got support on the inside from Dobson. Oh, oh. Dobson hasn't got the pace, great Move. tackle from Matty Marsh, Goal. but they're not done yet, they've got the numbers. If they can get the ball out wide, back in field for O'Brien, Campesi clings on to make the tackle. Move. They needed to straighten up that play before Goal. they give the ball to O'Brien. Dobson, Dobson, little grubber kick comes in, CO comes across, can he get out of trouble? Not a hope. Well, he's a, a man with tremendous speed, Ken Seo. No, another one. Another one going off. Craig Koch at the prop forward. So three players that they've lost, but shorter. Short side, quick hands. Nile of Alves passes the ball inside to Michael Dobson, who can't then pass the ball on the inside to Logan Tompkins. As soon as they shift the ball out here, Robert Louis needed to go straight and fix the Dobson's defenders who were rushing sideways, and he stopped that play. But let's credit the defence. Hulke they got back, Matty Marsh chasing down Michael Dobson, was followed quickly by the rest of his defenders, and although they're defending this goal line dropout now, their effort is unquestionable so far. But it's a warning there early on in the second half, isn't it, that Salford, they're not done, they've looked very, very dangerous. When they've been able to spread the ball, get to the fringes, ask questions of this Hulke three-quarter line, Griffin palming that ball back for Evolds. Craig Kopjak is the latest Salford Red Devil to be hobbling. He's Move left it. the field. Hold. He's just pacing up and Go. down the technical area at the Go. moment. Josh Griffin Get was ten. down, but he is back and in, in action. Two. Seems to have shaken off whatever Move. was Terry, troubling him. Goal two. Well, they've got to do it's it tough it. now here. Down on numbers. This is where well, you Three. play the percentages. You Move. can't make those mistakes. 
You don't oh, want to be defending if you're down on troops. And yet, it's Salford who are Four. coming forward. Move! Wait, Krasnicki for. plays the ball. O'Brien, Griffin. Griffin somehow gets the pass Four. away for Dobson, but Salford. Dobson and Dobson keeps it alive to Evels. Evels, Tompkins, Tompkins to Robert Louis across the field, shows the ball. They've got the numbers here. Jones puts a kick in, but uh, Greg Johnson wasn't on the same wavelength. Well, defensively, they did well to recover. Then they were in scramble mode. Hulk here. It was two on two. So Josh Jones, instead of trying to take on the defender, he drops it onto his boot. Josh. He didn't back himself Move, running at the Hulk here player. 12 10, Hull two. Kingston Rovers lead in this million on. pound game. Get Salford, of course, disappointed to be here because had they not had those six points deducted, they'd have been in the Super 8s. And they Move wouldn't have on. had to Go trouble on. themselves with the tension of this afternoon. Here is Jamie Peacock. He once got a hat trick against Salford Move. in his Bradford Back Bulls on. days. Go that on. was back in 1999. Here he is now, still and four. he's still going strong. 17 years later, a touch Five. greyer, Move. but he's still giving it a go, isn't Get he, square. Jamie Peacock? Oh. What, he wouldn't go. give for one try, never mind three. <laughs> Blair puts a kick in. O'Brien, time underneath it. Surrender! Well, this is where you draw on all your experiences, all the Sam hard work you've done pre-season, all the hard work that you've done during the year. Just Surrender. looking at that last set with Hulk out in possession. If I was James Sam Webster, I'd be a little concerned Walter. about how that broke down needs to be a clear, a clear line of communication Dominance. between the halves. It's obviously the Sam, majority of the go ball play is going through Campesi. There's a breakdown in communication there, which means they can't apply the pressure they want to. Josh Griffin Four. is causing problems. And Marsh and Horn trying to delay things. They succeeded without incurring Five. the displeasure of referee Bentham. That's the Move. fifth tackle. Go. Well back, Jamie. <laughs> and uh, O'Brien. Gives that one plenty of air, but it's going to come down. Well, just in the field of play, no touch, and Sio no tried to no get no. it. Zero. And Rovers come up with it. Whose knock-on was it? I think it's the first knock-on. Was it? Was it? Was it Mins? Yeah, it was. The ball goes up. Nobody wants to take any part of that. Whether it, you're fullback or whether you're winging, in those situations, you've got to catch the ball on the full. You can't hope for a good bounce that it'll go into touch or it'll bounce favourably to one of your teammates. Take the ball on the full. It's worth mentioning as well, when Junior Sow went off, Salford had to reshuffle. Ben Kikane has left the field, so that meant the of all Ken Seo has had to go to fullback. When he's come on, Graham Hall is in the centre. Ken Thomas Ken Mins is on the wing over on this right edge for Hull Car, so Get both right teams in shuffling the pack. Out. But it's... Salford from the scrum Move. on the attack. Campesi collars O'Brien. Two! About 15 Move. metres out. Well done, Dave. Well done, well done. Two. Luke Burgess it was driving it in. Dobson, short ball. Three. Look at all this Griffin. Four, three. Dobson again flings the pass onto Robert Louis. Louis gets it on. Greg Johnson now. Johnson. Trying to get it back in field, but Mantellato oh. does a cracking Move. job on him. They're not done yet, though. Here's Robert Louis. Oof, tills. Move. Another big oh, hit from Robert. him. They do the repeats that here, Bill. Well, Dobson's the man for the kick for that. Co is going to be forced to concede it. Well, in good field position every time Michael Dobson's calling for the ball. Look at the numbers that he's got. The defensive line, they've got to make sure that they move up. They can't sit back on the heels, which leaves that space at the back. Ken Seo just coming across, Terry, not Terry. taking any chances, Terry. knocks the ball out. Get not taking any chances. He's obviously Get he's got faith in line. the guys in front of him. There's a question there whether he, whether he could let it let it roll. Can't I don't think with 50 minutes gone and the scores poised as they are, you can take that chance. But he, he's got he's obviously got confidence in that front line defence and how they are able to scramble. They've got the bit between the teeth. They've been asked some questions, but they've got the answers so far. A year ago, it was Wakefield and the Bradford Bulls who had to endure this occasion, and Wakefield came out on top that day pretty emphatically. Now it's Hulkingston Rovers and the Salford Red Devils battling for Super League survival. And 
Salford. You look nervous, Marwan Kukas, didn't he? It wouldn't be. Well, a few years ago, we wanted jeopardy in the sport. Move. Well, there's certainly jeopardy in the sport here. Two. Move. Back up. The Robins having to defend again. Uh, Salford enjoying some good possession here. The, the sky is brightening. Oh, Johnson juggling with that. And it's an opportunity for... Rovers defenders to close Held! him down. Release! Three. Go. O'Brien. Flanagan is, is back on. Move! For Hold! Salford. Go on four. Logan Tompkins. Robert Louis now. Robert Four. Louis almost through. They get a, a first tackle Five. on him. It was Lunt. Go, last tackle. Logan Tompkins and Dobson now kicks cross field Josh Griffin will challenge for it Griffin claims it Knock but off. well dealt with well Knock dealt with over. Thomas Mins there bided his time another good set from Salford again targeting Hulk KR's right edge Josh Griffin goes up gets that ball tries to get a clean catch so he can pass the ball one. well they've certainly oh. up the tempo haven't they Salford really frenetic atmosphere here frenetic in Two. on the sidelines as well plenty of comings Go. and goings let's catch up with who's still standing with angela thanks for that bill oh. Oh. this is exactly the sort of game that both coaches expected i'll let you take this back now bill come back well, to me in a second that's a high shot thanks angela that's a high shot on mins and that could have kicked off there dobson i think it was time off well just Michael. wrong footed that well hierarchy footwork at the line. Dobson comes in to close it down. The high shot that it is. I get the tackle. I don't like the afters. Who's carrying on? Leave it out. Well, that is from Phil Bentham. Leave it out. Hey, hey. To Michael no Dobson, the man who has to Stay create out. those chances. Penalty then to uh, Hull Kingston Rovers. Let's rejoin Angela. Yes, well, as I was saying, this is exactly the same, the sort of game that both coaches were expecting before back this took off. It's tight, it's competitive, and it's tense. James Webster wants to watch the strike on the edges of this Salford side. Happy in the middles, though, and, and Ian Watson says he's happy with the completion so far. They just need to improve their oh. rook in defence. But injuries are all over the place, aren't they? We can see one down here now. Chris Junior Sherwood, yeah, <laughs> so he's out. He won't be playing again. Murder Masilla has been tested. Krasnicki it is who's down. Here's Mins, Mins, almost reaching out. He's, he's just it. short, he's kept hold of that ball, I think. Yeah, he's kept he's hold of it, but no, he hasn't. He lost that ball. Well, they well, couldn't see him knock on. Here. Excellent, Johnny. Did he knock that on, Stuart? Well, the, uh, the ball certainly came away from his body. Whether his hand was still on it, or not, I'm not so sure. There's no knock on there. Uh, it's come out of his hand, he's it's on his it. wrist. He's it's lost on, that. It's on his forearm. It's on his forearm, he's lost that ball. His hand's, be his, hand. his hand's not around the ball. If he, he, tries to, he tries to get the ball over the line here, he tries to reach out. Look, yeah, if he's trying to score a try there, that would be a try. I know that I know it would be a try, but he's lost possession of the ball, it's not in his hand. It was his forearm that was in contact with the ball when it was on the ground, so that means he's lost One possession. Oh, no. Well, Salford did well in either respect in defence. There were a man down there, Krasnicki rolling around. Looked like another rib injury. He seems to have recovered, though. Need to gather themselves, Salford. Get themselves out of here because Hulk KR, they're looking to steal territory back. Yeah, maybe Rovers scenting blood here. The Robins perhaps sensing that these injuries are starting to drain the Salford Red Devils. Well, it looked like he was out, but Krasnicki just carried the ball up. He's gone down again here. Four. They're struggling. Move. They've no rotation, oh, have they? We've already no. talked about Junior Sauer. He won't get back out there. But they're going wide. They're looking for Johnson. Five. Because Nicky is still there. Just oh, held back to no. his feet. On the last, Dobson. Still only two points in it. And this really the first time he's misjudged it. And uh, as Terry said earlier on, he knows every blade of grass on this bit pitch don't think he'd mind that to be honest i think the, the players floor. glad of that floor. extra five seconds rest a solid defensive line because all three of this back three Stand mantelato co and o'brien magnificent effort from these two teams so much at stake for them for their clubs two. their, their Wait, livelihoods what might become of them 
and yet here they are putting their bodies on the line and some of them coming out with bruises and broken nose what here comes Thornley now Thornley cutting in fields poor read from Josh Jones in defense then he come out and open up that space on the left edge which creates this problem which now does a penalty to Hull KR got to clear the rook area well Luke Burgess just can't clear this rook he comes up with the tackle when he gets up on Thornley he just can't get out of the way to get positioned at first marker it's one of those tough ones that you can't disappear but you've got to make sure that you don't interfere with the man who's going to play the ball Hold. penalty then to Hulk Easton Rovers move mark Hold. 12 meters Hold. out as Tils plays the ball Campesi here's Donaldson Surrender. Donaldson quick play the ball he was looking for it but uh, Griffin was all over him Campesi little step from him almost Three. stretching out move Good defence from Krasnicki, the man who was injured a minute ago. Goal three. Lunt gets that pass away to Clarkson. CO steps back in field and again, great defence from Salford. Move! O'Brien in there, Robert Goal Louis. Four. Bodies all over the place. Five. Tilts. Move! Goal they can't five. watch some of them. They can't watch the drama, the tension. Graham Horn. Horn puts a little kick in. Has he got a try? Time he off. had one denied against Huddersfield last week when he Second thought he'd five. won the game. It turned into try. a penalty. Round, Phil please. Bentham reckons that is a legitimate try for Thomas Mins, but it's going to need James Child's adjudication. Certainly you're going to look at two things here. First of all, is he on side, which he is. He's behind the ball when it's kicked. And then does he get good contact on the ball to ground it? Certainly looked like for, he did. From the view I had first off, first off, Phil Bentham has also confirmed it as a try on the field. Does he get his hands on it? Yes, he does. This shall be confirmed. Thomas Mins, if this is confirmed, it's his tenth try in the qualifiers. And what a priceless try that could be. James Webster breathes a sigh of relief. Ian Watson, his opposite number, comes down to the sideline. Still plenty of time to go and still only six points in it. Worried looks, though, from those Salford uh, supporters. What about the value for Graham Hall? His 14th player, 14th season as a, as a professional player. He steps off his right foot. He sees that he's going to be put under pressure. People force him towards the sideline. You can see that he wrong puts John Jones and then all of a sudden kicks that ball. Mins perfect. Good try and those fans, wow. Don't they just celebrate? I thought he'd mistimed his run at first. He looked like he was a little bit in front of the ball carrier Graham Horn. But he had the awareness to stop, change direction, use his skill set, put it on the end of his foot, and Thomas Mins. Prolific try scorer Mins 19 and that was his 20th Gets Hull KR another four points possibly six Mantellato from the sidelines is on target And he celebrates he pumps the air But you're not home and dry yet But Thomas Mins what a season he is having it's one, it's one thing on the front foot, is it? The ball from Matty Marsh to Graham Horn with a man in front of him forces the Salford player out the line. Lovely kick from Horn, and then Mins, who's been in combative mood this second half so far, perhaps a crucial, crucial score. First. 18 10, Move. the scoreline then. Get square. Hold. And the Hulkingston Rovers supporters. Finding their voice again after a bit of tension as Salford came back into the game, but there's nothing to say that Salford can't come back once more. Still two, on two. Good offload from Walker, wasn't it, to Sean Lump? That worked for him in the first half, those offloads. Getting on board with Sean Lump. He hasn't had a fast rut yet, Sean Lump. Thornley. Coming more into the game. Ian Watson down on the sidelines, Gareth Carvel along 
beside him. Five. Anxious faces Three. on the sidelines well for the Salford Red Devils on the last. And Campesi hoists the kick. Evels is underneath it, out. and Mins very Not nearly got on the end of that one. Wasn't that a good set of six from Holkar? Straight from scoring a try. That man who scores the try, Mins, goes up for the ball. Just can't take it. But for better execution, that could very well have been game over. There's a lesson there. The Salford Red Devils, the minute you give up putting kick pressure on Terry Move. Campesi, you can make it very, very Move. difficult for your defenders out wide. Two. Greg Johnson, Salford. Running out of Goal, troops, two. really. These injuries they've suffered, particularly three. that of Junior Move. Sal, so Back early up. in the game. You Goal, can't three. really take away the fact that they lost one of their most potent strike Move. players Goal, so four. early in the game. There he is. Dobson. Five. Could it come down Move. to that penalty just before half time as well? Salford have to score a couple of times here. O'Brien puts a neat kick in. And CO lets it find touch. There's the uh, the owner, Mr. Kukash. Well, this is how to finish the set of six. Gareth O'Brien taking control. When you've got Josh Griffin packing down at the front goal number three. The urgency to get the to stop the clock, knowing that they're running out of time. Just under 20 minutes left in this game. This is the million pound game, which just leaves one to come. That's the grand final next Saturday from 5 o'clock Sky Sports 1 as the Warrington Wolves take on the Wigan Warriors. And if you need information, there is the RFL's information line at 0844 856 13 or you can go to uh, rugby-league.com for more details two. about the grand two. final fantastic That's night so well to look done, forward well done, to two. to bring the curtain down on the three. season Move. and preceded of course by Stevo's grand three. finale on Friday evening what a, a night that will be tremendous work four. from Holkar coming away from their own line a couple of passes four. ten meters away from their own line some short there. carries and determination Five. in those runs as well. They're, really set. Set. They're looking forward to ram home the Goal. advantage now, aren't they? They've pulled it all right back, haven't they? The forwards are running very hard. Defensively, look at this now. The pressure that Gareth O'Brien's under. First. Four players confront him. They're condensing, they're getting in really tight, they're getting off the line. The defensive cycle where they hit, Two. they hold them. Move. They wait for the teammates to get back and it all starts again. And because Salford can't rotate those players who are playing right, bigger minutes, sure. They're Kids walking a little bit more, they're finding all the actions of the game that little bit more difficult. Just to raise the average blood pressure around this ground, it's Dane Tills who concedes Hands the penalty, up, releases the pressure on Salford because there were there were some walking bodies getting First. back behind the ball. Move. Some men got through a lot of minutes. Krasnicki takes a break. And, and Salford are gifted 20 metres because of the indiscretions Move. of that man Tills. Good news that oh. Ben Murdoch Masilla is at least oh, back out there sure. for them. First half try scorer Robert Louis Campesi Goal came two. to close him down. We just needed three. a bit more depth then Robert Move. Louis. He shot the line, didn't he, wait, Terry wait, Campesi? Wait. Dobson, here is Murdoch Masilla. Big Move. presence running out there. Goal four. Dobson, Flanagan, forwards. The Rovers Move. supporters scream Goal. Phil Bentham, Goal. not paying the slightest bit of attention. Dobson. Clear. Delicately hoisting this kick. Mins back, comes five, and has lost it. Back, back five. Still on the last. And that'll be the turnover. Thought Thomas Mins had uh, made contact with that, but. I think he went back off Salford. Okay. Why it went to uh, remain last tackle. Anxious Best. moment for. Move! Go one. Yep. Beg your pardon. Anxious moment two. though for Hulkingston Move. Rovers supporters. 18-10 they lead. Well, this is where they can work really hard. That Move. man there, who's just That's made the tackle, George goal. Griffin, three. number 10. That's his 42nd tackle in this game. He's certainly four. doing every kit, everything Move. he can Get in this game. Ben. Goal four. 
Struggling, kicking on the fourth player here, Campisi, and it's a long kick as it's well. It's a 40-20. Oh. What a time to come up with a kick like that. Oh, he says, the wind at his back. They've got the wind in their sails now. That's an incredible kick, that, isn't it, from Campisi. Talking about those big players with big game experience, coming up with something special. That's the 30-metre line, and it bounces just past the 10-metre line. Lovely spiral on it, accurate as you like, and look at the passion. He knows how much that means in the context of this game. Every inch has to be earned. What a great rule that one is. And Campesi, he has got a breeze coming from that corner of the ground, and I'm sure that helped send that kick sailing downfield well to put it simply this is a must shut out set from Salford here is Campesi here is Thornley and Thornley trying to be a thorn in the side of the Salford defence but they managed to keep him at bay there across the field comes Clarkson two tackles gone can Salford hold them out there's still time for the Red Devils if they can turn this round, if they can get Hold. some possession and get Release. Three. up the Go other end of three. the field. They need to withstand the pressure here. Horn. Griffin stands his ground and the Four. troops Move. come to help. Go. Marsh on to Peacock. Peacock. I thought for a second Five. they were looking for a drop goal, two or three Move. tackles ago. Might there be now? No. No, no they're not. <laughs> it's with Blair. Well, and that's a, a disappointing end to that set. You're right, that is a poor end to the set of six then. Maybe oh. a, go for a one-point, drop it into the end goal earlier. It was a one. fantastic Move. set of six from Hulk here, but to finish it like that, go. I'm not so sure. Well, you've kicked a 40-20 like that. And the the you saw what it meant from Terry Campese's reaction, then you come up with, with that. Yeah, and then you didn't do anything with it. Field three. position three. and territory could Move. be imperative. You make Goal. a mistake, and you could pay the ultimate cost for it. And then they concede the penalty. Mark is not square. A little but bit raggedy from Hulkiar. Sean Kenny just testing the defence. So Salford get what they needed, they withstand the pressure, then they get the penalty, and they're able to maybe turn the tables. They're up to the Rovers 40 metre line now, going across there with uh, Luke Burgess. Feel they need some points here in the next five minutes, Salford. Still time, still time. O'Brien, O'Brien to Evels, Evels back in field. And it went forwards. Griffin picked it up. There was a hope for a moment for those Salford supporters down in that corner. But the ball went forward. forward. Well, only biting in when they had to. Again, they were, Mins was aware of that play that caught them all in the first half from Gareth O'Brien. But look at them just backing off, waiting for the teammate to fill in on the inside because they were short on numbers, but good defensive read from Hull KR. Thomas Mins needed nerves of steel. He couldn't bite in, he just held his shape. Backed off, backed off when the ball was passed. Lunged forward, dragged him into touch. Keep it going, Sean. Great support for Salford yes. here today. They've come in big numbers to try and cheer their side That's over it. the line, to try and help them secure their Super League status. But at One. the moment, Move. it's Hull Kingston Rovers Go. who are going to be celebrating that. Well, Marwan Kukash. Two. He's pacing up and down Three. the sideline, but I reckon oh, somewhere God. in this ground, Neil Hudgel, even though his side are in front on the scoreboard, the owner of the whole KR club, Three. he'll be feeling Move. exactly the same. Go. It's cruel, it's a cruel way to end the season. And there's been Four. plenty of comments in the build-up to this game about oh. that, but if you, have, if you want promotion and relegation, somebody has got to suffer. Still as Campesi gets the ball back in field and Walker nonchalantly takes it. On four. On four. Good work from Adam Walker. Move. He's powerful, isn't he, Adam Walker? Five, go, go. Lunt had a storming game. Gets the pass away to Clarkson. Backwards. Clarkson back Did in field. 
didn't zero. need to do that. Yeah, that's play on that. From the offload again, it goes inside, but I'm sure that was a knock on anyway. They've not got the end to the set that they wanted, but One. once again, they've pumped Two. the way downfield, as they have done all afternoon. Oh. Salford have really struggled oh. with the pace of the ruck, really struggled with their line speed as a consequence. And this is what we've been used to see, haven't we? This Go afternoon, two. Salford working their way out of their own area. I think why Salford are struggling as well is because the rotation of the the subs coming on, there's no one coming on giving them an impact, which Hull KR have been managing to just change their people around, keep them going. This man made an impact, hasn't he, Sean Kenny? I think there's one or two players out there, and Ben Murdoch Masilla I don't think is fully fit. There'll be other players that won't be right as well, Bill. I don't think Robert Lewis right. For me, he's not been right for about a month. You look at the amount of strapping he's got on, both knees and legs bandaged up. Well, those legs are trying to carry him through there, but Co claims the ball. That looked high, but Co shrugs it off as he has done so many times this season. He's such a durable player, Ken Co. Well, he just doesn't play for the penalty. Is there a mistake there from Mantellato? Well, he just gets on. He takes a high shot. No problem whatsoever. And then when Mantellato, I'm sure that I thought he'd lost the ball, but. Is the referee saying it was stripped, Stuart? Ball come from the Tussles on the far side. Oh, Warren Turley, right. he said the ball was stolen. And he, well, is it stolen? One man in the tackle. Plenty of players around. Is anybody else involved? Well, it certainly looks like it's a one on one, doesn't it? And the ball was going backwards as well. So it wouldn't have been a knock on from Robert Louis. No, well, it's a difficult call for the Tussles with all those players coming in at normal speed. He's judged that the ball was pulled out. It was pulled out. It was probably only one in the tackle. If you're, you're a touch judge, if you're going to over, overrule the referee on the field, you, you've got to be sure that you've seen something. Well, he comes in with the information as he sees it. It's up to the referee if he wants to take that, that advice. Oh. Anguish on the face of Robert Louis after that uh, incident. First. The Move. clock against Salford Red Devils right. now. The Super League is fading as a prospect two. for the Red Move. Devils. Only eight oh. points in it. What well, they wouldn't give for a, some breakaway, some Surrender. opportunity to get Evold or Johnson Goal away. But for the moment, it's Hull Kingston Rovers in charge. Forward. 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 And Four. even the Rovers supporters, there's a sort of murmur around it. Oh, that looked a bit oh, forward, that did. <laughs> Got away with it there. <laughs> Here's Campese, Clarkson. Well, everything's on the line now here. Reese. The last play. Teddy Campese, will it be a cross field kick? Oof, Campese stretches. Blair underneath Still it, five. bats it back. back. Marsh, Marsh keeps it alive Stacked. to Horn. Horn Four smuggles back. it out. It's with Donaldson. Donaldson puts a little chip kick in. Ricochets off the post and eventually is gathered by relieved oh, Salford. Loose forward Mark Flanagan, and he's not Go fit either. Look at the shape of his face, his colour of his face, he's Two. battered and bruised. Mark Move. Flanagan, as Hold. the rest of the Salford Go team to. are, you've got to put your hand up. And once again, it, it wasn't an attacking set with any kind of precision, Three. but it doesn't need Move. to be anymore. They're running out of time as Salford, eight-point cushion. Back? This is the area of the game that KR needs to be squeaky cleaning now. They've given away too many penalties, relieving pressure from Salford. Kenny trying to ignite oh Salford. There's oh so God. much commitment out there, so much endeavour, passion. You feel so sorry, in a way, for these players that somebody has got to lose here. Great defence, though, from Mims to stop Evold's progress. Another fabulous tackle, Thomas Mins began this game in the centre, he got shunted onto the wing because of the injury to Ben Kikin. Bides his time again when the ball is passed, makes the tackle and drags the man in touch. He's come up with some big defensive reads, hasn't he? And that's fingertips, that, there's yeah. no... There's no shoulder contact, there's no tackle technique, that's desire. And that's someone as well that'll back themselves for their own speed. They'll show them the outside, they'll have faith in the lad who's defending inside, and all of a sudden when he knows that his teammate's okay, he's covered that tackle, he'll then switch on to his man. Discipline finish, come on. Discipline finish. Been really good this Well, if Salford are going down, Head they're going on, down Sean. fighting. Sean. They Sean. really are giving it their all. But they are... They're Space. running out of numbers, whereas no. Hull Kingston it's Rovers, this gone crucial gone. stage of the game, as the opposition is is tiring, they've brought young Will Two. Jubb on. Move! Bill and everyone want, oh. if you're a Hull player, you'd all want the ball, you're congregating around a, 
to play the ball, you put your arm up, you want to carry it, you want to come up with something. This is your last, last nine minutes of the season. What a game Sean Lent has had. Has he had a breather, Sean Lent? I think he's been out there all the way, hasn't he? Yeah. Blair, strong run into the middle of the field. Campesi. Sio, long ball out wide to Mantellato. How much time's Campesi got on the ball? Hold here, goal five. Here he is, Campesi. Looking maybe for Mins, and it's come up for Weller Haraki for Salford. Claim that one well. Well, that was a brave take, not because there was people in front of him, but because you don't want to make that mistake. Ben Murdoch and Silla now with a caddy. Look at this when he goes up. There's a competition between him and Graham Holm. And Salford have got it all on here. Move, Chris! Get what doesn't look encouraging Go. from a Salford point Three. of view? There's not an awful lot of communication going on. Dobson having a couple of words. Robert Louis. Nothing there on that right hand edge. Not providing many options. Murdoch and Silla. O'Brien, here is Robert Louis. Oh, Robert Louis put the ball down and he doesn't need anybody to tell him what an error that is the last pressure that making a mistake he's probably going through his mind what what play he's going to come up with who he's going to isolate what defender he's going to fix unfortunately you've got to make sure that you carry the ball time off it is pressure but it's also mental and physical fatigue there's so much riding on this game he tried to concentrate. 73 minutes there is on the clock. I don't think he's 100% fit, but he doesn't want to let anybody down. Neither does anybody else with this Salford shirt on. It's not over till it's over. I'm sure that's what the Salford players are saying to one another. They need some actions, though. The Rovers very close now to maintaining their Super League status. They've been Super League ever present for the past 10 seasons. And Salford have been in the elite since 2009, but now it looks as though the Red Devils are destined for life in the Kingston Press Championship, certainly in 2017. And what will that mean? Lunt to Will Job and Job on his shoulder, the youngster, the Academy Player of the Year, just short of the try line. Campesi fancies it. And he's held up. He's trying to burrow his way over. But he couldn't excavate a tunnel. Well, first of all, Jubb was shot, Time and then off. Campisi. He was going for glory, which the try would have surely Eight, sealed the five, game for Hulk AR. Goal. Marsh. Marsh puts a little grubber kick in, and Evels. Brilliant. That's all he needs. Brilliant. Strangling all the air out of this game in terms of Salford and their fight back. Four players in attendance. Matty Marsh, we said it a couple of weeks ago, his development and progression, so impressive. They go for the short restart and Salford come up with it, do they? No. Well, that's the gamble, isn't it, going short? Jubb was alert to that. Campese now looking to really settle the issue here. Two. Move. Coming up to the last five minutes of this million-pound game. Peacock. He cannot three. have thought at the start of this season, Move. at the start of his new phase Go in his three. career, that he would end the season playing in a relegation decider. Sio. Four now. Commitment Move. to the last Get from these square. Salford players. From Burgess and Flanagan Four. there. Here's Olgood. Will it be a drop goal or a kick to the Go. corner? Little grubber kick it is, in fact, and Evels claims it, and Whoa. Min's wrestling Move. with him. Well, the only person kicking the Go ball on. for the Robins all afternoon has been Terry Campisi. He's put it high, he's put it off the ground. Two! Move! On the ground, Go. should I say. They've not done enough, enough of a job of targeting no. him on the last play. No. Three. Terry Campisi Move. had that mixed game against Hold. Huddersfield last week. He, has, he uh, was intercepted for... A breakaway try, he had a drop goal, hit the post. Well, it's been a much happier occasion. The ball out of play, and that could be it for Salford. Yeah, I agree with you, Bill. Trying to play outside of Hulk Kayar, who certainly stepped up the ante in the last 
20 minutes of this game, you can see Josh Montalato. Well, he was jammed in, he was marking Salford centre. Josh Jones and Ian Watson, I think he's done a tremendous job. Let's not forget that Salford were penalised for what's gone on in the past. Been over the salary cap, they had points deducted from them. And then all of a sudden that you hear rumours about what's Marwan Kukash going to do at the end of the year. Is he staying? Is he going? He's not said anything to the players. So the players have not only had this game to deal with, but everything that's gone on in the past few months. And I think Ian Watson has kept them together and done a tremendous job. Sorry, Paul. Hull Kingston Rovers on their way to a qualifiers Out. double then over the Salford Red Devils. They they beat them earlier on in this particular Move. phase of the season back in August. It seems like an eternity ago now. Here Two. we are, first Move. weekend in October. Get square. And Hull Kingston Rovers now Two. just Cheers, four minutes away from breathing an almighty sigh of relief. All good, reversing towards the try line. Three short. Well, they all want to score now, don't they? Finish off Eight. in style. Goal three. Jub, Campese, Maurice Blair. Hell! He'd be a popular try scorer Move. with the Four. Rovers Player of the Year. Hold. Neil Hudgel, well, he can feel a lot more comfortable about life for the Hull Kingston Rovers Five. chairman. Not yet, but Move. Not yet, but not yet. <laughs> Three minutes now as Campese puts the kick in. Still five. Still on the last, says the referee. So Thornley chips it ahead himself, and it's too strong. It's down. Well, there we go. You've got probably two sets of six. Michael Dobson, what can he pull out the bag here? It needs some individual First. magic. Move. Who's going to provide it? Go. Well, individual, individual magic. There was only nine Lavals there then. So he would have been on his own anyway. The offload here. Burgess smuggled that out somehow. Josh Jones came back to rugby league Still after one. his spell in rugby union and where's he Two. found himself involved in a nail biting Four. game like this? Krasnicki comes back on for the final couple of minutes for the Red Devils. Three. Move. They're over the halfway line. Oh. If Goal. they could Three. get something. In these uh, next few seconds, it's that's how close it is. Robert Louis, four, move, go. The Rovers supporters know that they're not home and dry yet. Here is Krasnicki. Five. That's the last. Two. Oh, that's the fifth oh. tackle. Go. Five. Well back and uh, Tompkins, Dobson now. Dobson flings the pass. Griffin, Griffin out the side door and Evans oh. is in. <laughs> Niall Evans gets the try. It's right in the corner. Two minutes to go. Well, isn't that Evans with his second of the game. Isn't that incredible? They've looked for Nyla Valls go, two or three occasions when they go down to the to that left edge. And Griffin does a tremendous job there. That's probably the only defensive error that Mins has made in this game when he shows the outside to that man. And when Nyla Valls gets this ball, he's going to score it. Look at that. Perfect play. He's been forced into that defensive misread as well. Missed conversion by O'Brien. There's still a four-point ball game. Was he take a look back at that try? Last tackle play. The big booming ball from Dobson Sign from off. right to left. And then it was uh, Josh Griffin, the stop and the go. And Thomas Mins forced inwards, forced in because of the movements of Griffin. Love the little sort of pass. And then Evolt's crossing in the corner. Penny for his thoughts. What's this set of six going to be like? Off, fellas, yeah. Every minute matters. That was the mantra. They wanted jeopardy. Well, this minute matters. It's Josh, the final Josh. minute of the, the million-pound game. And there's just four Good. points in it between Hull Kingston Rovers and the Salford Red Devils. Four points. Onside. And Super League safety for the winners. Or Golden Point extra time. Can First. Salford come up with something? Move. Well, that Rovers was the settling hold. carry. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more movement offloading every time they go into Surrender. collision. If they can get that arm free, Stand. that's what get Salford square. will be doing. Goal two. Come on, Rovers. The Rovers supporters imploring their side Three. to hold Move. out. The Salford fans up the other end of the field, willing them towards them. Still three. 
They're looking for this flank again. They're looking for Evels. They're looking for Evels. They've got Josh Griffin. Griffin has got Evels. Evels cuts in field and it's cut <laughs> down by Mins. Five seconds to go. It's with O'Brien. It's with Dobson. It's across the field. There goes the Hooter. The pass was forward, surely. It's with Johnson. Johnson in the corner. Johnson for the Salford Red Devils. And Salford have tied the scores. Can you believe this, Bill? Greg Johnson can't believe it. The Salford supporters cannot believe it. The Rovers supporters can't believe it. There are supporters on the field, unfortunately. Goes to extra time now. If they miss this kick, it goes to extra time. And if you look at the players, the whole KR players, they look shell-shocked. They're absolutely shell-shocked. Whereas Salford, how they pull that out of the back, the go-to man in the final stages was Josh Griffin. The try scorer is Nyla Valls. Give the ball to somebody who's going to do something. Again, he comes up with that play, he dummies it, Mintz falls for it. He gives the ball to Evels, Evels doesn't panic, he knows he's got to play the ball as quick as he can, because whole KR, the defenders are all coming around the rough, they go into where the gap was, and then this long ball from Fran Flanagan, it's a good pass, and that's a great finish, Welty. It's, it's, I've lost my words, I, to see the reaction of the Salford fans who charge the field, as Johnson got this ball down, I think you look at the last three or four minutes, and you look at the contribution of Josh Griffin, who will have pleased that man no end. Josh Griffin, I think, has had an outstanding season. But two stop and goes there. The ball uh, from you... Mark Flanagan. When you think that Mark Flanagan in 2014 was playing standoff in the grand final for St. Helens, I don't think in all his career he's passed a better ball and been part of a more important try. What pressure on Gareth O'Brien. This to keep Salford in Super League. And consign Hulkingston Rovers to the championship. And O'Brien misses. The Hooter sounds 18 points apiece. And it's Golden Point extra time. Wow. Liam Watson just saying to his team, let's calm down, let's calm down. Gareth O'Brien taking that kick. Well, what can I do? Here's the try. What about Start this? Another. The Hooter had gone. And then Mark Flanagan, as you say, Baz, delivers that pass out wide. And the no panic from these players. And then Gareth O'Brien, well, he misses this. Michael Dobson played for Hull KR in the past, knows every inch of this ground. Left-footed kicker. Should have he have stepped up and took control of that last kick? Wow. Okay, we'll get the captains. The uh, chairman. Couple of minutes. He's a cool character, is Neil Hutchins. No, but it, in this ground we'll is cool at the minute. No matter what the body language is saying, no matter how many times Ian Watson says, "Let's calm down," his heart, his mind will be racing at a thousand miles an hour. Right. What are you thinking if you're a Hulk KR player? You thought the game was in the bag. If you're a Hulk KR player, you're panicking. You, if you're a Hulk KR, you've got, you've got to, you've got to get the heart rate down. You've got to, you've got to try and, and just consolidate your thoughts and regroup because they've been ambushed in this last 90 seconds. And uh, the lead protagonist being Josh Griffin, dragged them back into this game. It's hard to get from your heels, metaphorically, from your heels back onto your toes, facing frontwards with your job at hand, and it's all about territory now. Get as far down the field as you can, and we're going to have so important drop goals. As the uh, coin toss to decide who will play which way in this golden point extra time. And they will turn around, I think, now then. Gareth O'Brien lining up this conversion, and there you can see the bottle thrown onto the pitch. The uh, Salford players unhappy about that. And there you go. Isn't that nice to see? That's how it's all catching Hudshaw. I think all smiles, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the smiles betray what two that were, were really thinking behind those glasses. I remember the close game last week for Hulk Yard against Huddersfield. The drop goal decided it. That man Terry Campisi. 
Hulk KR will put absolutely everything into this set of six defensively. Trying to come up with a shot, trying to make that error, trying to make Salford play where they'll make the mistake. Who will it be? Michael Dobson, will he return to haunt his former club? He's picked, kicked plenty of drop like goals in his career. And Terry Campese okay. hit the We're post ready. here last week. Well, let's get going. Every second, every decision so important. Salford won the toss and chose to receive possession well. Here. And I, I think that answers your question about where, where the momentum lies or who feels like they have the momentum. Get the ball in the hands. They've got first shot. First. Move. Dobson hold, lads, hold. was looking for somebody there and there was nobody on his shoulder, so he took the tackle. Two. And Move, Mitch. Rovers will hold. be looking to keep Three. Salford Move. this end of the field. Wait, go. Three, go. Don't let them within range. Robert Louis, Ben Murdoch, Masilla, Peacock. If I was a Hulk, I'd play every look where Josh Jamie. Griffin is. Dive, out go, on that left four. edge. Cannot believe that Jamie Peacock is out there and involved in, in this scenario. Move. Well, it's, it's next go. goal wins, whether that's a penalty try or a drop goal. These well, gone they've for gone it. for it. O'Brien has gone for it. it. And he's got it. <laughs> O'Brien has saved Salford. Wow. From almost on the halfway line, Gareth O'Brien has left Hulkingston Rovers' hopes in tatters with a monster drop goal. Salford are safe. Hulkingston Rovers are destined for the championship.